All right, folks, we have a bit of a tough question here. So let's do this one together. It says a rectangle has a length of 20 centimeters and an area of 600. Let's quickly draw that. Remember, it's a rectangle, not a triangle. I always confuse those two, at least in the name. Okay, it says the length is 20 centimeters and the width, no, not the width, the area is 600 centimeters squared. Then, right, let's keep reading. Another smaller rectangle has an area of 300 centimeters squared. And they don't tell us anything more except for that it is directly proportional, which means we'll be able to uh, solve something like this using that method that we've been talking about with two ratios equal to each other. Okay, so let's draw that smaller rectangle. Could have used another color, but oh well. 300 centimeters squared. Okay, so what do they want to know? The proportion that could be used to determine the width of the smaller rectangle. They want to know that. Well, that's actually a bit tougher because it would have been easier if they asked us, what is the length of this one? If they wanted to know the length, all we would do is go call this x and say x over 20 is equal to 300 over 600. And then we'd be able to solve that. It's not so easy in this case. What we have to do first of all is figure out the length of this big rectangle right here. So let's do that. Do you remember from math way back when uh, the area of a rectangle is length times the width? So 20 times something is 600. You can push pause right now and think about it and uh, let's just skip ahead and I can tell you that 20 times 30 is equal to 600. So we know that this width is 30 centimeters. It's kind of a strange question because uh, isn't 30 longer than 20? And isn't this the width? Isn't this supposed to be shorter than this side? That's a bit of a flaw in this question, but hey, sometimes math textbooks do that. It happens quite a bit actually. Just shows people aren't really paying attention. But we're going to keep solving this, okay folks? Here's, how, here's what you would do. So let's talk about uh, just the width first of all. Sure, let's start with this width right here. We've got a 30 right there. And let's talk about the area. Since we have over here the area, let's talk about the area here and put it on the bottom. So. 30 is the width, 600 is the area. On this rectangle, we don't know the width, so we put x there, and the area is 300. All right, what we've done here is we've just set up a proportion that when we solve it, and we don't know how to solve it yet, we'll find out what x is, and we'll know what the width is. For now, this is all we need to know how to do to set up this proportion. Cool. Thank you.